you can actually start using the wise card immediately by going for so a few months ago back in may i bought this colorful pleasant looking yet very nice to type on mechanical keyboard online from iq unix that cost me 217 us dollars which i've paid with my maybank visa credit card and converting that to my local currency i've paid a total sum of 918 ringgit and 52 cents at that point i didn't really bother so much about currency conversion because oh well it's part of the banking system not that we can do anything right but come to think of it while i was preparing for this video i made a quick check on what was the actual conversion rate for us dollar to ringgit malaysia for that day on bank negara's website i saw that one us dollar was actually equivalent to 4.1125 ringgit malaysia so multiplying that actual conversion rate of 4.1125 with the 217 us dollars that i've paid i'm supposed to pay 894 ringgit and 67 cents but instead i paid maybank 918 ringgit and 52 cents and that is a premium of almost 24 ringgit or about 2.7 percent and that ladies and gentlemen boys and girls is the premium that you are paying for using your traditional bank's credit card to purchase things from overseas now what if i tell you instead of paying 2.7 percent fee you can actually reduce that amount drastically to about one percent or less by using the wise card and that is just one of the features you will be able to enjoy out of it so stick around until the end of this video because i will be sharing with you everything about this wise card as well as showing you how to order one for yourself today i appreciate it if you can help me smack the like button down below it helps me to create better content for you guys thank you very much so without further ado let's jump right into today's content So what is a WISE card and what is it actually for? Well, to put it simple, this card is a Visa debit card or prepaid card if you like to call it that complements your WISE multi-currency account which allows you to reload, convert and hold 54 different currencies such as US dollar, British pound, Euro, Sing dollar, Chinese yuan, Hong Kong dollar, Japanese yen and many more. So with that flexibility, this WISE card presents you with three main use cases. Firstly, as I've mentioned early on in this video, you can use it to shop through online stores overseas by paying a significantly lower transaction fee because you are effectively spending through this debit card which you have performed your conversion in your WISE multi-currency account at the market rate with a very small fee if you are curious about the 2.7 percent fees that i've mentioned earlier that is actually a combination of the transaction conversion fee of one percent imposed by visa on top of the terrible foreign exchange rate imposed by our local banks so by simply paying with this wise card you can easily save at least 1.5 percent of fees without doing anything extra second this card is great for travelers or just anyone when you travel abroad in foreign countries not that we can travel abroad right now no thanks to the pandemic but this wise card unlocks the possibility for you to spend and swipe abroad without worrying too much about the cash on hand that you have as long as visa card is accepted that said even if you ever really run out of cash this card can also be used to withdraw money from atms in more than 200 countries with a very small fee and limitation which i will cover in the pricing section later and if you ever lost your wise card you can always freeze it instantaneously at a click of a button in the wise app thirdly this wise card is also great for those of you with small businesses or freelancers because you can get up to 10 local bank account details in the following currencies as a Malaysian which means gone are the day where you pay a sky high transaction fee to PayPal or local banks and on top of that you can create multiple virtual cards which will help you to segregate your business side hustle expenses all of which can be recorded in your wise business account that greatly helps you to manage your expenditures all in one place now let's take a look at the pricing for the wise card i know some of these numbers are quoted in malaysian ringgit but it should be more or less the same in equivalent value if you are watching this from another country the first one you can see here is the order fee of 13 ringgit 70 cents this is a one-off fee for ordering the wise card and you don't need to pay any annual maintenance or sst fee afterwards if you ever lost the physical card and you need a replacement you can pay another 13 ringgit 70 cents to replace your card next when you use your debit card to spend for online shopping or when you are traveling abroad you can spend the currencies that you have in your account 
down for free. For example, if you eat at a restaurant in Singapore for say 50 Sing dollar, you will be deducted 50 Sing dollar from your Singapore balance at no added cost whatsoever, provided you have the Sing dollar cash preloaded in your multi currency account. However, if you have zero cash in your Sing dollar balance to begin with, what happens here is Wise will convert your available cash in another balance to Sing dollar to help you pay the 50 Sing dollar bill. But just keep in mind this will come at a fee, so always reload your respective balance before you use your card. This is basically currency conversion in your multi currency account inside your Wise app that I've covered before. So check out this video if you want to know more. Next, we talk about the ATM withdrawals where you are able to withdraw twice for free up to 1000 ringgit every month, after which you will be charged a fee of 5 ringgit for subsequent withdrawals plus another 1.75% fee if you withdraw above 1000 ringgit in any particular month. What's nice here is that you can actually track your withdrawal limits in your WISE app. Just go to the account tab, select account limit and then click into ATM withdrawals. You should then be able to see your ATM withdrawal limits here. And at the bottom, you can also click to change your monthly limit to the maximum amount of 23,000 ringgit. And if you click into the ATM fees, you will be able to see whatever I have just described to you. I know some of you would say that big pay in this sense would be cheaper for overseas withdrawal with their fixed fee of 10 ringgit per withdrawal. Yes and no. Keep in mind that there is a 10,000 ringgit limit for big pay which severely handicaps many users and on top of that, you would still need to take into the account of the forex losses when you convert in your big pay wallet. So take all of that into account before you decide that big pay is actually better than wise or not. Yo! Now let me quickly show you how to apply for the WISE physical card. You can do it on your WISE app or the WISE desktop portal, up to you. In your WISE app, click into the account tab, then click order your card. It will say get a debit card blah blah blah, just click order your card. Get your card, click continue, then it will ask you to fill in your delivery address. This address is where you want to receive your WISE card and it doesn't need to be the same as the address on your IC. So fill it in and click continue. Choose your delivery method, you can choose either Postal Service Standard or DHL Express. Now I know it's written free for Postal Service Standard here but unfortunately this is a promotional rate that ends on 31st December 2021 after which you will need to pay 13 ringgit 70 cents as I've mentioned earlier. For my case, I went with DHL Express which cost me 49 ringgit just because I want to get it faster so that I can cover this content for you guys. Next, it will ask you to choose how your name appears on the card. Select whichever you like then click continue. Choose your PIN, key in your 4 digit PIN, this would also be used when you withdraw money from your ATM, just so you know. Repeat your PIN, then confirm it. Now at this point, I'm supposed to pay for the WISE card but I don't know why the WISE app would come out with this error message on my iPhone. From what I understand, this error only occurs if you choose DHL Express Delivery. Regardless, if you face this issue, just log in onto your WISE desktop portal using Google Chrome. Not Safari but Google Chrome. Then you can proceed to pay for your card. It will ask which currency would you like to pay with. For me, I actually wanted to pay with Malaysian Ringgit but again, I have no idea why it wouldn't work so I went for payment with US dollars instead. I then proceeded to pay with my credit card which cost me the same amount of 49 Ringgit 32 cents and then it will end by saying your card is on its way and technically it should arrive within 3 business days if you use DHL Express or around 2 to 3 weeks if you use the standard postal service and this is how it looks when you receive your parcel with your card in it. Now I hope I didn't send you the wrong message. I got all the hiccups because I used the DHL Express delivery. From my conversation with some of you, there are no issues with the standard postal service. So for what it's worth, go for that option if you are not in a rush for the physical card. I've said that because even while you are waiting for the WISE physical card to arrive at your doorstep, you can actually start using the WISE card immediately by going for the WISE digital card. If you are from the following countries, you are eligible to get up to 3 digital cards at one time which you can use just like your physical card but with added flexibility for you to manage multiple categories of expenses securely. Again, you can get it both on your WISE mobile app or your WISE desktop portal. They are the same. Just look for the cards tab and you should be able to see your green physical card appearing here. Scroll downwards and you should be able to see get a digital card. Click into it and right away you should be able to see it saying your 
new card is ready to use. Over here, you can click show card details to see your digital card information, which you can then use it just like a physical card for your online shopping and etc. Beneath it, you have four buttons. Freeze card allows you to freeze your card and stop it from functioning. Replace card, this lets you generate a new set of digital card. Manage payment methods, this lets you configure how you want to approve the payments on this card. And lastly, delete card, which is pretty self-explanatory. You can always delete and add your cards anytime you want, so feel free to play around with this. Now, I'm sure some of you must be wondering, why would you need a digital card if you already have the physical card, right? Well, for a few reasons. Firstly, as I've mentioned before, you can instantly use your wise card even before your physical card arrives. And secondly, you can share this debit card with your loved ones to use for a one-time shopping or purchase or whatever. And then just freeze or delete the card right after the purchase is made so that you don't need to worry about risking your credit card details being leaked if their phones are being hacked or stolen or whatsoever. Thirdly, this is particularly useful for business owners if you need to say assign one of your employees to buy something for you. Like if you want your employee to buy anything online for once or maybe once a month, you can give them this digital card to pay on your behalf. And after that, just freeze and unfreeze to be used again at your discretion. And lastly, if you are the type of person that don't want online websites to save your credit card details, especially foreign websites, then you can obviously use this digital card which generates a random credentials for you to make your purchase anonymously if that's what you want. So having covered almost everything, allow me to summarize the pros and cons of the wise card because obviously nothing is perfect in this world. In terms of pros, on top of all the foreign exchange cost savings, it is a low maintenance card in the sense that you only need to pay once for the physical card and there is no need for you to pay for the annual maintenance or SST fee that you would find in the local bank cards. Next, the conversion and fee structure is fully transparent so that you would know what you are getting yourself into as opposed to the local banks which don't usually show you the conversion rate and fees until you receive your bank statement. Thirdly, it is usable in many countries and you can also withdraw from ATMs overseas which makes it a very valuable tool in your pocket. Even with the digital card alone, it can easily act as a low-cost backup if you run out of cash in a foreign country. Next, security. You can freeze your card at a tap of a button, which makes it a great feature to have, especially when you don't know what will happen at any given point in time touch wood, but when the need arises, you have the peace of mind that you need. In terms of cons, however, it is not a credit card, so you will still need to reload your wise debit card before you can spend on it. It would be nice to have a credit line especially when we are travelling abroad, but it is what it is for now. We can only hope for that feature to come in the future. Next, the limitation for free ATM withdrawal of up to 1000 ringgit per month is a tad bit too low, after which there is a 5 ringgit fixed fee plus 1.75% fee applicable. Not the worst thing because this is obviously a limitation set by many countries in fear of the wise card cannibalizing their local banks. Thirdly, there is no interest income paid for your account balance. Obviously, I am nitpicking because the holding limit of 20,000 ringgit for Malaysians is not even huge to begin with but this is something that I thought worth mentioning as I know some of you might ask about it. Alright, that is all for today's video. If you are new to WISE, you can use my referral link down below to enjoy a discount for your first international transfer. If not, I hope you found some value for your time spent watching this video. Let me know what you think about this wise card or if you had any experience using it for any purposes such as online shopping or foreign travels. I would love to know how it worked out for you. With that said, thank you very much for watching. Stay safe, stay invested and as usual, I will see you in the next one.